Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Cavers Chronicles. Hope you guys really enjoyed my uh, Beta 1.8 update videos. That little nice 90 plus minute special I had there for you. I actually had a lot of fun recording that and putting that together for you. So, hope you guys got a lot out of it. Lot out of it, and liked the kind of the new format that I was giving. That I was kind of trying out for the new update videos. Where I don't know if I'll do it for 1.9, but we'll see. Um, but it was just basically the my first impressions, my very first look at the update. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. And speaking of 1.8, you guys might notice that yes, we are indeed back in 1.7. Now, why are we in 1.7, you might ask? Well, as awesome as 1.8 was, and as great as everything was there, this is very much a pre-1.8 world and that's kind of how I'd like to finish it. For one, the bow mechanic is going to take a lot of getting used to, and with the way everything is here in this world, I think I really very much need the 1-7 bow style where I can just single click without having to draw back. Well, yeah, I can't really draw back in 1-7, but you guys get what I'm saying. So, there are, are other reasons, too. Um, another big one is all my plans for the glowstone in this tunnel. After watching Ethos 1.8 update video and seeing how glowstone doesn't really, well, glow anymore, well, it would seem like a huge waste of time for the last few episodes we had here for me spending, uh, what was it, an hour and a half in the nether, just gathering up all of this. And speaking of, i start getting to crafting some of this while I'm thinking about it. So yeah, it would have been would have felt like a massive waste of time to just have done all that and not get a very good effect out of the glowstone. So I think what I'm going to do is get crafting some stuff, and I'll rejoin join you guys in a second. But I guess first, let me kind of plan out what's going on here. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone for all your feedback, and especially Rick Sharp again for the video response about my questions to how I wanted to do the stations around here. And based on your guys' feedback, uh, didn't seem like you guys had too many problems with my thoughts of how I was going to actually do the stations. So I think I'm pretty much just going to go ahead with the ideas I laid out for you guys. And... Well, I guess I will speak more to those when I actually get around to building them, so... Like I said, I'm going to get to crafting, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, I think I am finally ready to get on with completing this tunnel. Now if you take a look, it turns out I had exactly enough for four stacks of glowstone. I think that is going to carry us all the way through. And I went ahead and whipped up a bit of powered rail and a few stacks of regular rail. I'm probably gonna have to come back and make a few more. I don't think this is gonna get me all the way there. In fact, I'd be surprised if it gets me all the way down to the that end. But we shall see. And got some redstone torches at the ready. And I don't need shovels now, so let me get rid of that. And I think we are ready to get going. Um, realized I forgot to mention that this dirt block is going is serving the purpose of where I'm planning on doing the piston trick, like I showed you guys a few episodes back. Uh, the piston is going to be down here. The this this is where the block's going to pop up. So I believe we need that one, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, as I recall, to power all this. And then right here, dig down a couple. Probably shouldn't have done that, but at least I can get one of them back. Drop our redstone torch, drop our glowstone, and bam. Power! I have the power! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Not so funny. Okay, so hopefully this still works and it wasn't just a wonderful quirk of how things were in my world because otherwise might have to go ahead and 
figure out something else, maybe take in one of your other guys' suggestions. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see how far I can get with these supplies, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I've got some very interesting things to show you guys. Or at least, some progress. So, see you in a second. Okay guys, so, turns out uh, the amount of tracks I had lasted quite a bit longer than I thought. Now, I haven't actually taken a look at things yet, but I've got all the glowstone out, so let's take a look at it for the first time together. There we go. This is what the tunnel now looks like. Now that I look at it, I'm thinking I might want to go ahead and try putting it in the ceiling here too, because it is still a little dark. It's a lot brighter than it was. But as I suspected, out here in the tunnel, even at night, as you can see, that's... I think that's the moon. I see spots. That better be the moon. <laughs> it stays nice and bright here in the tunnel, just thanks to all this glass. And it looks really cool too, because you can't really see a physical light source, there's just light coming out of the ground until you get up close and stare at it, and then you're like, oh, it's glowstone, ha 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 ha. Now you'll see along here, I've left redstone torches. That's where the booster tracks need to go. And I know you guys left me a bunch of suggestions, I think half of you who left comments about this said use pressure tracks on both sides, right here and right here. And I'll admit, when I was asking the question, I had forgotten about that. But thinking about it, I realized that I had forgotten about it because I had actually completely discounted the idea. A personal preference thing, I just don't like the way they look. And to add to that, after reading up on the wiki about how many spaces I... the optimum spaces between booster tracks, I'm going with 30 regular tracks and then a booster, so just for your FYI kind of thing. Um, while I was reading up on that, I was reading up on the pressure tracks, and turns out that there's not really a bug, just an unfortunate side effect of using the pressure tracks on both sides. And that would be w if... Well, let me get this straight in my head first before I say things. And let me get a better example. That curve's going to be tricky to explain it on, I guess. So... This is a pressure track, and this is a pressure track, and this is a booster track, let's pretend. Now, as you're traveling across on the minecart, you're going to be traveling. You should stay pretty well boosted from the last booster track from back there. You're coming along, you're coming along. You hit the pressure track, but it isn't until you are completely, 100%, I think, or even a little more on this track with the cart that it gets set off. And there is a few ticks worth of delay before the track completely activates. And because you're already in motion, by the time it fully activates, you're already partially sitting on top of this pressure track. Now, because this is on, this pressure track does nothing. And it really is only for the return journey. But because you're already a few ticks, a few, I don't know, pixels over on this side, you don't get the full 100% boost of the booster track. So yes, it functions, but over time, you actually end up losing speed. You don't get to hold on to the full 100%. Now granted, you're, we're probably talking like you'd reduce it down to 98% or something, 95%. It, it, fairly negligible, but I believe I've explained to you guys before. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'd like 100%. So in asking Rick Sharp about a few things, I think we've decided that I'm going to try and hide a redstone torch under here by creating sort of an air pocket. Um, what I'm thinking is right underneath here, I'm going to place a block. And then I believe I can get away with just placing the torch right on it. As below this block should be non-still water, shouldn't be a source block. So when the torch goes in, it'll destroy the source. But And... I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I'm hoping, it will hold back the water, but we will find out. Let's go ahead and continue on. 
Actually, I wanted to check something real quick. Can I see below the water? Okay. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to see the ocean floor, thanks to all this light. Oh well. It should make working down there a lot easier, that's for sure. So yes, we're going to be boosting on either side of a curve, as going through curves now really reduces your speed, so I'm going to be doing that everywhere you see. Here we are, coming through the next tunnel. Still looking pretty good down here. I think the sheep agrees. He can't see it, but hey, he agrees already, so yay. <laughs> And yeah, as it turns out, I think we uh, overdid it on the glowstone, but it's great to have this much around for when I need it. Because there are still a couple few projects I want to work on before finally saying goodbye to this world. Yep, and here we are in the future mine track station, minecart station, mine, mine, mine station. <laughs> Let's see, okay, left some smooth stone and uh, lots of redstone, good, because I'm going to need that down here. Alright, so, I think, given that I've got these torches here, and this is right here next to the water, this one's good, so, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the glowstone in the ceiling, and I will get back with you guys when I'm done with that. Please, no water. Damn it! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I forgot what did that. Screw you, Notch! Why would you do that? Let's see. Any booster tracks come flying up? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I miscounted already. I'll probably just cut this out. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, you punk! It destroys tracks? <sighs> yeah. Ah! Fine. I will go make new ones. I'll be careful when I dig above my head from now on. Um, hmm. You know, I didn't actually solve the problem. <coughs> Oops. Alright, let me pull this one up. Alright, again, I will... <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna fix this without having a migraine on screen. Okay, so here we have it with the ceiling lights in as well, and I think it adds a much needed light levels to the area, and I think it actually looks pretty cool too. So we got the floor lighting and the ceiling lights. It's a really nice look, I think. But I'm not sure, but that looked like squid legs glitching through the wall. <laughs> okay, well. I think that just about does it for the glowstone for now, so I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and get ready to deal with the stuff over there. Hopefully it's not too much of a headache, but we shall see. And I guess before I head over there, something I ran across that I realized I'm going to have a problem with is I want to leave this one without a booster track and this one with a booster track. The problem is, though, that the problem is that right there. I forgot that redstone right next to the piston would turn it on, so I might have to leave one redstone torch up top unless you guys can think of a way that I can power the track I want to put right here without turning on the piston, or is it maybe there's some kind of way to invert things, but I think once the piston's already got a power source as singular as a torch, there's no real way to actually do that. Who knows? Although, thinking about it, 
if there was maybe a way to power this track only when the piston is unpowered. Hmm. You know, because that way, if you wanted to stop here, you just go thunk, and we're here at the mini station. But if you didn't want to stop here, the piston would deactivate, the power down, and go off, and then this powered rail would power on. So I don't know. Maybe there's a way to do that. Vidri, Rick Sharp, Redstone experts out there, anybody? <laughs> Could use some suggestions. Uh, so, yes. I will see you guys when I am in the water. Okay guys, here we are. I am floating right above the next place we're going to need a booster track, so... Let's see what kind of success I can have with the tactic I'm going to try. Um, if this one doesn't work, then I might have to just go ahead and place things on all sides. So, let's see. Okay, well, it definitely got rid of the source block, because now we've got flowing water. Okay, looks like I am going to have to place it on all sides. So, let's see. How do we do that and make it look nice? I imagine the dirt shouldn't be easily seen. Hmm. Ah, oh, good. I still have some glass on me. Okay. So, put a little here. And put one right there. And, hmm. Huh. Getting out's going to be interesting. I suppose I could destroy that one temporarily. As much as it pains me to break glass. Okay, I can at least get out. Hmm. So let's see. Can you tell that's dirt? Yes. Okay, so... Okay, I really shouldn't be in the water when I do this. I feel like I haven't played Minecraft in months. But it's not even been even remotely that long. <laughs> so. Make it look good and nice. I hate that I'm having to cover up glowstone, because the whole point was to kind of light up the ocean floor. <sighs> oh well. Okay. Let's test. Excellent. It all goes away. And I didn't bring any tracks with me to test, but I assume that will work. So... And I need to place this quickly. I could have sworn he fixed that in what in one seven or one six. Oh well, it's not like I need the dirt back anyway. So, looks like I have found something that will work, and doesn't look too bad. You know what? Second thought, let me get this back. I only need glass. I only need smooth stone on this side. So there. Problem solved. Wait. Oh. Cool. I only need it on three sides. Except it gets all flowy here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Even though you're never going to see it. It's got to be smooth. <laughs> hmm. Of course, now I'm literally stuck down here. So... Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, okay. That does work. Good to know, good to know. Alright. Well, now that we know that works, I'm gonna go ahead and get these last couple. <clears throat> and I think this time... I will let you guys watch as there's some things I'd like to talk about. 
you may have heard earlier in this episode, I'm hoping it's still this episode, but I was talking about how things are going to... Or that, about the things that I'm going to do before we finally say goodbye to this world. And I imagine more than a few of you were kind of curious as to what I meant by that. <laughs> 